Decon Utility is a tool for searching the network, configuring input and output modules via the serial port RS-232-485 or Ethernet port using virtual COM ports. It supports not only the Decon Protocol I.O. modules, but also the M-Series Modbus I.O. modules. Before searching for modules on the network, ensure modules are correctly wired. Basic wiring includes power supply and communication interface. The power supply must be DC power between positive 10 volts to positive 30 volts. I-7000 and M-7000 I.O. modules are typically distributed remote I.O. modules and only support the RS-485 interface. If your computer has an RS-232 port, you can use an RS-232 serial cable to connect to an I-7520 RS-232 to RS-485 converter. It has a plug-in screw-in terminal block connector and power requirements of positive 10 volts to positive 30 volts DC power. The protocol is 2-wire RS-485. Connect the power as indicated in the diagram. This converts the RS-232 signal from your computer to RS-485 so it can communicate with the 7000 module. RS-485 is the only communication interface of the I-87K I.O. expansion units which are used to expand I.O. modules. You can configure its I.O. modules with Decon Utility. You can connect your computer to the I-87K I.O. expansion units as you would the 7000 modules. Connect the RS-232 serial cable to the I-7520. Connect data plus and data minus of the I-7520 to the data plus and data minus of the I-87K I.O. expansion unit. Connect the power as indicated in the diagram. The I-8000 embedded serial I.O. units can be used in remote data acquisition and control applications like environment monitoring, power management, and factory automation. You can configure their modules with Decon Utility. The units have an RS-232 port, so they could be correct connected directly to your PC with an RS-232 cable. If your computer doesn't have a serial port, you can use an I-7560, a USB to RS-232 converter for Windows and Linux operating systems. I-8000 units also have an RS-485 interface, so you can wire them in the same manner as you would the 7000 series and the I-87K units, as indicated in the diagram with the RS-232 cable, the I-7520 RS-232 to 4 RS-485 converter. I-8000s also have an Ethernet port as shown in the diagram. Decon Utility uses the COM port as its communication interface. When you want Decon Utility to communicate with the remote Ethernet I.O. unit, install the VX COM Utility on the host PC and assign a COM port to map the port I.O. of the I-8000 Ethernet unit. The remote Ethernet I.O. must support X server to have the virtual COM port function. Decon Utility's graphical user interface has buttons to perform functions like start searching the network, to stop searching the network, and to connect to WinCon. Decon Utility displays current settings like the COM port, address, baud rate along the bottom of the screen. Click on COM port of the file menu in the upper left portion of the screen to access the COM port settings menu. Select which COM port, baud rates, protocol options and check some options to search then click OK. Click on the search button to search the network for modules. The search results will appear at the top of the screen. Click on the module name to enter the configuration screen. Each module has a different configuration screen depending on the modules specifications. Each configuration screen has the option to change a modules address, baud rate and checksum. Some modules let you adjust other settings, such as data format and filter settings. Clicking Setting stores the desired settings in EEPROM. Some modules have Channel Enable Disable checkboxes. The drop-down menus can be used to configure the module to the desired I.O. settings. The Clear All button can be used to clear all channels. The Set All as Channel 0 button can be used to set all channels the same as you set Channel 0. Modules like I7019R have a CJC offset parameter that can be set. If you're unable to find modules on the network, make sure your wiring is correct. Search and configure the modules one by one. 
Check the COM port settings. Check all the checkboxes for baud rates, protocols, and checksum options. Connect the init to ground and power on the module. Power the modules on with the init connected to ground so they can get the initial communication settings. When modules are powered on with the init connected to ground, the module uses its initial settings as its communication parameters. The communication settings are address 0, 9600, or 115200 baud rate, checksum disabled, and decon protocol. The real communication settings are saved on EEPROM and are not changed. You can also put modules into init mode by connecting the init to ground while the module is powered on and clicking setting to save the settings to EEPROM. When the communication settings are set successfully while in init mode, you must release the init to a normal state and then turn the power off and then on again. At that point, the module will use the new communication settings and the settings will be the same as those stored in EEPROM.